hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials hope that all are in a home and stay in a safe so don't go outside stay at home and stay safe let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i'll provide you today a preset which is uh, like before image was like that and after editing or after adding the preset you are getting like this so this preset for photoshop as well as lightroom so let's start the tutorial i'm at first opening up this image this one is stock image i downloaded this image from deviantart.com i'll provide you that download link in my video description for the practice purpose drag this photo and drop over here you'll get a copy which is like that and after that go to the filter and camera filter so I made a preset for you guys and I'll provide you that preset in my video detail and video description as well. So today I just got that image that is the outdoor type outdoor girl and load it up. So after adding that you are getting like this. If you need to adjust the light and the white balance you have to go to these options and select once or once like that yeah the color is good now that's okay so let's see what settings i used in this preset at first the temperature minus 5 temperature minus 5 for the little bit cool type look and the tint plus 7 and the exposure 0 0.40 contrast 0 percent highlight minus 59 that's why we are getting the vivid look of the behind the lights and the shadow plus 30 and whites plus 38 in these like owl and the uh, other flower is a uh, whites and i have to adjust that things that's why this one is plus 38 just because of i made the highlight down over here if i don't maintain that two things in a balance minus and plus it won't be proper and now texture plus five just because of the sharpness and other stuffs clarity plus nine you can you can make it minus or plus it's totally up to you but don't make it too much uh, clarity otherwise it won't uh, it will spoil your photographs like that dehaze plus four for the uh, these like nice look if i make it like that so this one is the moderated the highlight or dehaze value the vibrance that is minus three saturation minus five little bit desaturated and little bit devibrance and then the blue tone curve i use the blue tone curve green tone curve just stuck over here 113 for the input and output 108 and here 2 and 7 input and output value and blue if i go to the blue no blue here red here a little bit 137 for the input value output value 134 and in this portion zero and all the things at zero and detailing option you're getting two things sharpening and noise reduction sharpening value i made it plus 46 and radius that is one dial detail that is 25 and luminance that is 40 luminance detail 50 luminance contrast 31 color 38 and color detail 50 and color smoothness 50 and then hsl panel if i go to the hue at first hue saturation luminance what color i used over here uh, or picked up from here green color i made it hue that is the aqua and aqua little bit like green type and these two things making the color tone like that and the blue that is plus 38 and if i go to the saturation the saturation up i made it up uh, the red and orange saturation that's why you are getting this type of vivid look in a background and the yellow i made it de highlight or desaturated that is minus 36 and the green as well plus 30 minus 34 aqua minus 47 and luminance i made the luminance up for the red and the orange as well here the split toning highlight and shadow color it defines with the split tone the highlight value is 155 saturation 13 and the shadow 2 for the hue and the saturation 15 no lens correction issues over here and the effects from the effects i didn't use the grain i used some post crop vignetting that is minus 20 and the midpoint that is 40 and feather 50 that's good from the calibration 
you are getting the red primary hue that is 68 saturation plus 43 that's why you are getting this type of like a little bit warm tone and the green primary plus 65 saturation that is plus 42 and blue primary hue that is minus 65 and the saturation minus 3 that's okay and hit the ok button after adding the preset you are getting instant solution or instant edit or effects in this photo like that if you want to use that preset in your lightroom so go to the lightroom for opening the lightroom i will import that photo in this lightroom panel so after that i'm just importing that things okay this photo i'll import and import that photo only that photo so after importing that photo i will import go to the develop mode and i'll import the preset go to this portion that is the plus sign and import the preset that preset which i made it so here outdoor girl and import that things it will import it and now i'll find that preset in my user preset options so if i go to here the outdoor girl and you are getting that things now time to export go to the file and go to the export options and choose a folder or drive so i'm choosing that and export it out and uh, already i just uh, exported this name so i'm using the unique username and it will export and give you the output like this so here is the output and let's see before and after before image was like that and after one you are getting like this so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video i may say when i signing out today bye bye